Hello, and welcome to my guide and test of Undella Bay farming with Meowth. For this method, we will need two things. Super Rod, which requires completion of the Unova Elite Four. And you guessed it, we'll need a Meowth. This is my anime lore accurate Meowth. You don't need all of these stats, exact nature, or the alpha gene. What your Meowth will need at minimum for stats is 31 attack, above average speed, and any attack boosting nature. For the ability, pickup is obviously required, and for moves you'll need to have payday and covet or thief. I prefer covet because it gets stab and it's a much prettier to look at move animation, but thief works just as well, although you won't be able to one hit KO Tanky or Pokemon. To get covet on your Meowth, bring one Red Shard and two Destiny Knots to the Move Tutor in Kanto. Onto the optional but beneficial things. A Teleport Pokemon or Ocarina to return to the PC faster. A Catching Pokemon in case a Shiny appears. Multiple Meowths for longer trips without needing to heal. And finally, Lures. Lures do increase your profits per hour here, but they add an additional level of complexity to the method. Double battles increase our chances of finding heart scales marginally, and catching the wild electric we come across add to profits. I did not use lures for this video to keep things simple. The method itself is quite simple. You go to Undella Bay, and please make sure you're in Undella Bay and not Undella Town. Undella Town has less items available on the pickup table, which will reduce profits per hour. Once you're in Undella Bay, just begin fishing, and I will now go through the steps for dealing with each Pokemon you might see. For Love Disc, simply use Covet or Thief. If the Love Disc does not die, use Payday to finish it off. For Shelter, use Payday. This will one-shot majority of the Shelters, but if the Shelter is a higher level, Simply use Covet or Thief after Payday for a chance to steal Pearls and Big Pearls. And finally, just Payday all of the Remoraids you see. I think like 99% of them will die from one Payday. And if you're using Lures, just catch the Electrics normally. And for Double Battles, use Payday and Covet accordingly. The vast majority of profits gained from this method are from Covet and Pickup. Payday is our backup strategy here. It's never the main focus. I know it's kind of ironically named. Everyone calls it Payday farming with Meowth, but why would you click Payday for 300 Pokeyen when you can just as easily click Covet for a chance to steal a Heart Scale or a Big Pearl? Here is the list of all available pickup items in Undella Bay. Now onto the test results for this method. I farmed here for one hour, and from Payday alone we gained 29,660 Pokeyen. We stole 9 Heart Scales from Love Disc, and the items we found with pickup are 2 Blue Shards, 2 Green Shards, 1 Red Shard, 4 Great Balls, four dive balls, three super potions, one stardust, three big pearls, two normal pearls, one star piece, one energy powder, one comet shard, five super repels, and three mystic water, which brings our total revenue to 168,912 Pokeon, minus 4,625 in listing fees, we are left with 164,287 Pokeyen in profit. I think that's pretty darn good for just fishing and clicking two moves. I hope you enjoyed this Meowth farming video. I'm Mayabari. This is Meowth. Thanks for watching.